Hey everybody, I need to shoot a quick video to act as an intro to the videos that I've already done. Um, this video that you're about to watch, um, I recorded it and I recorded him thinking that it was cold reading when actually after I've uploaded the videos the next day, I woke up to find that somebody who follows our channel, uh, thank you very much, you know who you are, um, sent me some screenshots. And this is a person who had had readings with Thomas John for a while um, and totally believed in him. And turns out that they, well, over time, they've learned that um, he's actually not what they thought he was as you can see in these videos. So what we found out later, all I found out this morning, is that just like Thomas does, Thomas John does later in his career, where, where I'm a little more familiar with him in 2019, 2020, when he's going to be doing a show, he posts on Facebook saying, hey, everybody, anybody want a reading? <laughs> I'm going to be on this show. And so people will post and they will say, I'd like a reading. And he goes, great, call me at this number or call this number at this time. And what is happening is, is there's the Facebook post that the person has left. Like, so if uh, Mary Jones says, I'd like a reading, and he goes into Mary Jones' Facebook page because there's the her Facebook page right there. Um, he says, yeah, you'd be great. So make sure you call in at this time and I'll give you a reading. And what happens is he's already got enough information to do a two or three minute reading. And trust me, it takes a minute or two to get the get enough information for somebody. I mean, it could take two or three minutes max to find a couple things that you need to, to uh, tell somebody. And they're not hard to find this information. So what I think is going on is that some of these readings are cold and some of the readings are start out as cold reading and then they move into information that he knows. And the reason why I feel like that's what's happening is because if, if Mary Smith calls in and all he sees on the screen or all he's told is Mary is here then he starts out with a generic cold reading. You know, I'm getting an older family member, you know, it looks like a woman who wants to come through. Is, is this your mother or is this your grandmother? You know, standard medium stuff. And then whenever he's talking to her, her, he tries out some of the information on the Mary he's expecting to show up. And that's when it moves into a hot reading. So I think that's what's going on. Um, the host probably is totally unaware of all this. The person who's screening is probably completely unaware of this as well. So I think that uh, some of these readings are going to be cold and a few of them are going to be hot. Uh, let me show you a screenshot from the person who sent the um, information to me. And my team has spent the day trying to find more and we have some more. But just for time reasons, I'm just going to show you what I've got right here. And so... What Thomas John did is he's emailing the person. Um, the person emails him first, and then he says, well, would you like a reading on the show? And here's, here's the person right here. Hello, I'm interested in the recorded reading I saw on Facebook. Thank you. And then they give him the phone number, and then they call in, and they're able to, to get a reading. The person that sent me the screenshot did get a reading from Thomas John the next day on the same program that we're talking about. And um, she, the person told me that they was a little bit accurate and a little bit vague. And some of the predictions he made back in 2015 still haven't happened or 2016 still haven't happened. <laughs> so um, we have other people that were finding these, these screenshots where people who are saying, I want a reading, I want a reading, which makes it very easy for him to go in and, and find the information, him or one of his one of his um, confederates would be able to um, find that information for him. 
So we'll we'll report back and probably in future videos as we find more information. But I just wanted to get this on the record because in the second video that I have in this series, I I quite honestly thought he was cold reading everybody. And so when he starts getting some hot readings or, or some really accurate information in this video, part two in this series, I said, good job, Thomas John. I don't know how you did that. Really good job. You know, you, you definitely scored some hits on that. Like I said, I wake up in the morning and I find out that these are hot readings mixed with cold readings. And so that person that I thought looked sounded legit and the reading sounded like he just got some really good hits. Now we know why. So enjoy the rest of the videos. If you do like this channel and you find this interesting, doing a deep dive in mediumship and like me, you find this fascinating, especially the psychology of it, please like, please subscribe. I would love to have your comments as well. So enjoy the rest of the videos. Thanks. It's late over here, but I'm going to do one more. Then I'm going to bed. So we're watching Thomas John in 2016. This is early Thomas John. This is when he's back when he was known as the Manhattan medium. He's on a radio show that is being video recorded. Uh, WWWABC on Mother's Day, May 8th, 2016. He's with his friend, Laura Smith. I guess that's her program called Above and Beyond. And he's taking calls. And normally when people take calls, those are cold reading because people are calling in cold. So that's what I'm expecting is cold reading. So we've, this is the fourth video. I have in the description of the video, there is a link to the entire show, which is like 40 minutes long. So if you want to listen to the whole thing or whatever before I get a chance to anal analyze it and then leave your comments in uh, under this video and so that we can go and and see you know what you think maybe you've got a different insight into what is actually happening in the video in the reading and then I have I'm listening to the very first time as as I'm recording this this is the first time I'm hearing it so I don't know what to expect um, but we're going to go with the assumption that these are cold. He does not know who's calling in. That's, I'm assuming that. So let's see how we do. If you want to, like I said, listen to the, the video before I analyze it, please do so. And leave it in the comments because I want to see if you and I have, you know, agree on what we hear, um, and what we think. So, you know, leave me a note in there. And I, I will respond to that. I definitely would be interested in hearing what your thoughts are. Okay, this time it's Mary Ann. So let's see what she has to say. Really appreciate it. And we're going to take, can we do one more quick one? Or sure, do you real need, quick. Yep. Okay, real quick. We are going to go to Mary Ann in Queens. Mary Ann, thank you so much. What is your question thank for you. Thomas John? Uh, I would like to know if my mom is with me. I have all my relatives have passed. And I wanted to know if they have any message from her. Do you have her name or something? Well, my, my name is Marion. Her name was Mary. Okay, so you have a version of her name. And did she actually live in your house at the end? She's telling me she lived with you, or she must have been there a yes. lot or something. Oh, yeah. yes, we lived all... She's a treasure of my life. Okay, yes. Now, she's very connected. She said you guys were almost like best friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's funny because I'm actually getting two Marys, so I don't know who the other one is, but there's another Mary coming through, too. Did your mom have a friend, Mary? Well, uh, uh, or no. Or aunt? Uh, well, she just had a sister, but that was Johanna. No, this is, there's an, I'm getting another, but, you know, it could go, be a different version. Of the, I also want to tell you, too, where are there people from another country? Like, who came from another country? Uh, my mother, all my family. Oh, I'm your hungry. family. Right. I'm also, now, your dad passed a long time ago? That's right. Yeah. Like, you didn't really know him or something? That's right. Yeah. I do feel him, he's very proud of you. I oh. feel, yeah. W was he, um, did he do military stuff? Uh, no. Do you have somebody connected that actually did military well, service? My brother was in the Navy. Is he gone? 
Yes, I uh, think so. You told me he was. Oh, okay. Then I think he is. Because <laughs> there's somebody coming through that's actually a, with a military connection. So you don't know for sure, but you suspect or you think. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. I'm also seeing... Yeah, I guess your mom is just saying, you know, it's hard for you because she's saying that, you know, she was really, you did a lot around her. Yes. So it's hard now, like you have a lot of empty space, empty, you know, one of the things she's saying is, is, you know, she just wants to make sure that you're taking care of your health and going out more and things like that. Um, and I do, I do feel though that as, yeah, she keeps showing me this nurse hat. So I feel like that's a very strong, did you take her shopping? Uh, no, no. No. Okay, because I'm seeing like shopping bags too. And let me ask you too. So your brother, were you guys estranged? Yes. Uh, he left. He, my father left us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty. I feel that this is him coming through. But you wouldn't obviously know. But I. Did. Do you know if he drank? Yes. Yeah. I like getting like alcohol and stuff like uh -huh. that. And your mom is just saying that she had a hard time with that here. She couldn't, she didn't understand why that happened. It bothered her. Well, he left us. So. Yeah. So, but I think that as far as your mom, yes, yeah, she, I mean, she's always around you. I oh, mean, good. I feel like if you pray or meditate, you know, she'll, she'll probably come forward to you. Do you feel her around you a lot? Well, I know. I think of her a lot. So yeah, well, I had, I had a dream though. She came to me, but she looked, un, she looked angry at me. She looked younger, very well rested, but she looked angry. Was there any reason for that? You know, what I tell people with dreams is there's different types of dreams. Some are visitations. Some are really, you know, are projecting things into our own psyche. So I think that that's probably something that maybe you were, you know, thinking she's angry okay. at you. Very rarely do they come in a feeling of anger. Oh, that's good to know. Marianne, thank you so much. Thanks for calling. Wow, lots of people connecting with their mamas today on a beautiful Always. Mother's Day. <laughs> What did you guys think? Leave your comments under the video and tell me if you if you're responding before you hear my analysis or not, because I really want to hear what you guys have to say. Really interesting. This is I I love uh this whole mediumship um understanding it, really breaking it down into just the real detail. And I don't know if you guys all like that, but I find it fascinating, especially the uh, the psychology of the person who is calling in and, and the sitter. Really interesting, um, the what they tell the psychic and how they how they overshare and how they, um, I mean, they are. I believe exactly that you, what you're saying. That is, you know, they're right on it. So okay, let's go with uh, Mary Marianne in queens so i've not been to queens is it a heavily immigrant area is it like if if you've been there for a while does it are, are people there a lot of immigrants i don't i don't know um i know where my father was raised in cleveland area almost everywhere was an immigrant from some country and um an awful lot of them so when he gets to that part, I was curious about that. So she says, almost all my relatives have passed. And, or she did say all my relatives are passed. Um, he said, what is her name? Why don't you tell us her name, Thomas? Don't you know her mother's name? You're, you're talking to her. You're connecting with her right there. And that doesn't work like that, Susan. What the heck? So she said... My name is Marianne and her mother's name is Miriam or something like that. And he said, oh, like a name connection or something like that. You know, your name for her. And then he says it right after that again. He says, I'm getting two Marys. Is there another Mary? He like that was just 30 seconds ago, whenever she said that she was named for her mother. And then he says, oh, well, could it have been her? Did she have a friend? And this or somebody else named mary i mean mary seriously very common name right and uh she says well she might i don't know if she i can't remember if she said she knew somebody um he said did she live with you 
And she says, yes. And now that was a nice guess, but you know, lots of, lots of women take care of their mothers. And I did take care of my mother too. And, and so if they're living with you, he says, you were like her best friend. And, um, she says, yeah, again, they're not going to say, oh, no, we can't, couldn't stand each other. And, you know, it's been some time and and I'm sure she's looking back and some with some very fond memories. And she does think of her as, you know, she misses her a lot. Um, is there a different country? That's what I wrote down. And and she says they're Hungarian. And because, you know, of course, everybody shares more than they should because they think they're really speaking to the dead and they're really wanting to try to keep the connection going and to help, help the psychic out a lot. So, eh. did you pass? Who is it? It passed a long time ago. Somebody passed a long time ago. Was it her father? Her father passed a long time ago. Now this is really interesting. Who had the military? Was your dad in the military? No. Boy, that's a miss because that's uh, one of those common tropes, right? Where I'm seeing somebody in uniform, which could apply to almost any kind of uniform from somebody at the postal office or the forestry service or the military or, or in a college or, you know, I mean, not college, but like a school uniform. So that was a miss. And then she, who had a military connection? And you feel that little, like a little bit of an anger. Thomas John, I, there's been many times I've seen him get upset because the sitter didn't react to whatever it is. And he gets that like real irritation. And I, I thought I heard it there again. And he says something about, well, like, who's got the military connection? Oh, oh, my brother was in the Navy. Well, she gives that up. He didn't come up with any brother in, or anybody in the military specifically and then that got a little weird because he's like has he passed over and she's like well you tell me <laughs> he kind of glossed over that because he doesn't know and then he's uh, then did you take her shopping and she's like no <laughs> okay you never took your mom shopping she lived with you Oh, well, because I'm seeing some bags and stuff. It's an odd thing to, for a dead person to remember. And then he gets out of her. He says, so did you, so you didn't have a connection with your brother. You were estranged. And she's like, yes. So she doesn't know anything has happened to her, her brother. She doesn't know anything about it. Oh, her father's proud of her. Well, what else do you think he's going to say? Um, nothing got resolved there. And then, so he says, you know, he's gone. Well, he was a Marine or well, he's in the Navy and he's estranged from the family. You know, he's throwing the alcohol. Well, I guess it's not much of a, it's not much. Allow, rarely do they say, oh no, our family doesn't drink. Not at all. Brother left and they're estranged. And she doesn't know if he's dead or not. That was really interesting. And Thomas John didn't say anything. He didn't get like, well, I don't know. Where would he go with that? Because he doesn't have a, a connection to the brother or a name. Would have been helpful. Um, this was really interesting. He says, do you dream about her? No kidding. She lived in my house with me. We were best friends. Of course she dreams about her. And this thing that the, the Marianne says is my mom, I dreamt about her. She says, I do think about her a lot. And she says, I dream, had a dream about her and she, she was really angry. She looked younger and she looked well rested. Speaking of which I need to get some sleep. Um, so that, that was really interesting. Well, if she was younger, I guess she would look well rested, but I don't know what a thing to say. And she's, you can tell she was trying to squeeze it in there at the end. Like, you know, tell me what that meant. Why is my mom mad at me in this dream? And Thomas John's like, oh, well, don't worry about it too much. And so on and so on and so on. 
Did you see anything? Do you think that there was a head in here anywhere? Because I'm not seeing a head. Just that your mom lived with you. That's kind of a hit. You took good care of her. You, you, um, she lived with you. And you know, who's from a different country? Well, I don't know. Did you pick up an accent? Because I don't know. Thomas John is from that area. He's from that part of the world. Maybe not New York necessarily. Well, he is known as the Manhattan medium. But uh, um, I think he's from Philadelphia. No? Yeah. I haven't really been over there very much at all. So I don't really know that area. Could you could you have picked up on an accent? And that's where you got the other country? Or is that just a good guess uh, because of where she lives in Queens? Or is it just a good guess, just random, because that's kind of how it is? I don't know. Um, who was in the military? Your dad was in the military? No. Your brother was in the military, huh? Oh, no. He didn't say who the brother was in the military. She'll remember it that way. If she says later, oh, that was on the, I was on a um, Colin show with this guy. He's the psychic medium. He was amazing. He told me my brother is dead and my, that my brother, Joe, you know, my brother, Joe, and he told me that Joe was in the military and that he drank a lot and he's now dead. I would think she should have been curious about like what happened to him and when did he die and where is he buried and what about his spouse and his kids or, you know, or something like that. Be interesting if the woman Marianne gets a call from her brother right after this and he's definitely not dead. <laughs> so what's missing? Pretty much everything. No names. He had to ask her mother's name. How could you be like right in contact with somebody and you don't know her name i don't know anyway so that was cold reading another cold reading one so that's the fourth video if you haven't already watched the other three go check them out they're really good examples of how cold reading especially over the over a radio how that works it's a lot of word play things happening fast um, people misremembering it's really interesting i think mediumship is fascinating um and I, I, I really like doing these videos. Please give me um, some feedback and subscribe to my channel. I'd, I'd appreciate that as well. Lots of comments, a nice like, and please um, hit the little bell so you know whenever I'm notif you're notified whenever I'm doing another one of these videos. But uh, let me get this uploaded. In. Let's see, you know, we're only halfway through this darn thing. We're at minute 21 out of 39. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if I do any more or not. Not tonight. Take care, everybody.